Hello, my name is Dan Hansen. I'm a Technical Marketing Manager with Cisco Server Access and Virtualization Group. This video is part of a series that's intended to show some of the unique advantages made possible by a Cisco Server offering called the Unified Computing System, or UCS for short. This uh, video is going to show, go into a little bit of depth on our uh, RAID policies, so our disk um, uh, policies that can be now part of a profile or a server pro service profile template. So we'll start by taking a look at uh, the example server I'll be using. It's a B440 um, that we have in this chassis, so this is the full width for a socket um, offering. And on there we have an appropriate card um, that has the capability for multiple variants of, of RAID. So first we show that some pre-configured policies that we've put on here, so we have one just for RAID 1, just gave it the name of RAID 1. Now the check mark for protect configuration basically for that and for this default means on disassociation we don't destroy a RAID and when we try to reassociate a profile to a given blade we don't recreate or overwrite a RAID. And the desire is people who build RAIDs for high availability have certain expectations and we don't just turn around and, um, and um, uh, try to overwrite that. Um, make it, we raise an exception so that users can look into that a little bit. So what I'm doing here is I created some RAID 1 policy, some RAID 5 policy. I'll create a RAID 6 policy also. Um, again, you'll see these are under the root organization, so these could be specific to whatever organization uh, has infrastructure inside of the UCS system. So I'll stop at RAID 6 here. Um, uh, and um, the basic idea is we'll look at one of these profiles out here and it's a turned up service profile that is on that B440 and if I try to come in right now and select RAID 5 on there um, when I look at the actual um, FSM here nothing has happened it still has the prior and I get a config failure right now so when I look at the config failure basically it's the uh, protection basically um, I didn't detect that there was a RAID 5 there, and so I don't want to overwrite it. So I turn off the protect configuration here. And when we go in and take a look at this, and I go to the profile, set it for this RAID 5 without the protect configuration, now we'll see that it's actually configuring the actual server infrastructure inside of UCS and building the appropriate disk policy on that RAID controller on the infrastructure. So if this profile was moved to different blades, um, that RAID again could be built um, with that. So that's the local disk policy. So what we're going to do now is, is just as a brief demo, we'll boot the blade, we'll jump into Web BIOS here, um, which normally would be required by the administrator to come into the server and uh, hit the control H or control Y and jump in to the, uh, if it's an LSI model, and jump into the actual controller to configure, manipulate the, the actual um, disk sets. So what we're doing is, is uh, all of this is being abstracted now to uh, policy within the UCS manager. And the idea is now I can apply this policy across potentially hundreds of servers, Blade or Ragmount, um, without worrying about uh, the administrative overhead doing so. So you see the RAID 5 that was built up and it is built out of the four drives that are actually inside of this 440 server. So the, the view that is presented is essentially the end of a process that the administrator would go through in, in building these sets. Um, building, moving, um, trying to control information amongst many other um, policy um, containers within UCS. This RAID simply shows that how we can programmatically in a more automated fashion um, allow a much faster service turn up or turn down in a very simple fashion. So as we look through some of the uh, configuration uh, of this device um, and the logical devices that, that are actually created and ready to lay an operating system uh, down on top. So we'll jump out of the web BIOS here, and uh, this was just a, 
attempt to, to show basically how that would look. So now when we come in, um, I'll just I'll continue to reboot my system. I, I made no effective changes. I was just showing that. Um, but uh, when we leave WebBIOS, it wants a reboot. So we restart the system. And um, again, you'll see the RAID 5 policy that is built in that service profile. Now, the local disk configuration policies are all built out in UCS, again, by organization. And I can also apply this within a service profile template so that if I build 5, 10, 20 or more servers off of a given template, what I can do is uh, change the disk configuration policy in, in bulk. And again, with that protection that is there. To recap, uh, managing um, operationally the RAID configuration policy can be a challenge in many environments. And the Cisco UCS with the, with the RAID policies really helps this. This ends this particular UCS Advantage video where we show the unique capabilities of the UCS and how it can lead to simplified deployment models. Please go to www.cisco.com slash go slash UCS for printed collateral, including a brochure that highlights information shown in this video. Thank you.